talk to you this past while he was here. Yeah. He said he don't run that past Texas. Nah, we don't. Cause we able to get the money that we need without doing it. You get what I'm saying? So. trailers at the top of that hill up there that I can see it but we're gonna go down this road I got one trailer that's out right now roll my window down make sure I don't get fucking stuck So yeah, so this the so this my truck yard where I park my trailers and stuff at. It's like a little shared parking lot um, out here in Atlanta. Um, like I said, I'm about to I'm about to rent out my first one to somebody that I um, that I know that I met through the process. And uh, yeah, I'm doing 500 a week right now. I think that's a that's a good um, that's a good amount. So I just gotta make sure all of the paperwork and everything all lined up and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a taste of this first uh, of this first transaction. Um, just got the wife putting together a rental agreement right now, and you know, I already got my deposit. Do a $2,500 deposit because, like I said, you never know what damages or whatnot is gonna come with this game. So, yeah. Let's get it shaking. So I finna go ahead and um holler the driver. He gonna hook up to the trailer. I'm uh, I'm renting him out one of them and and yeah. Let's get to it. Five streams of income within the trucking industry. This is my guy right here that's about to this is my guy here about to rent it. Escalade dirty. It's all good. I take it to the car wash. Yeah, so the driver hooking up right now. Take a trailer Why, boy? Nah, they ain't even, they ain't even called Joe. I mean, Joe ain't even, Joe texted me when he was done. Oh, for he real? He ain't talked to nobody. He just told me when he was done. Yeah, the stars was aligned for y'all. <laughs> That's all. So I was telling him, yeah, so you can, you can post here for a minute or whatever and, um, until we get a load or whatnot. Right. But, um, but yeah, the board just opened up. I talked to you this past while he was here. Yeah. He said he don't run that past Texas. Nah, we don't. Cause we able to get the money that we need without doing it. You get what I'm saying? So, right. I mean, like, like right now with us just running the Northeast, I mean the Southeast, 
I mean, the driver's still getting paid good just running the side. And that's just Atlanta to North Carolina, South Carolina, Atlanta. That's, that's all it. you run? Yeah, that's all we run for real. I mean, sometimes we- You run in Mississippi? Louisiana, you only run nah, North, South Carolina? North yeah, we only run where it ain't no water at. Oh yeah, okay, that's smart. Huh? Yeah, so yeah, so if it's water, I ain't going there unless they pay me. So like, if we go to Florida, like, like last time we went to Florida, we got paid twenty five hundred on four hundred miles going in because because we needed to make sure we bid it for because we knew we probably weren't gonna have that coming out like how you had to come here. Right. So you got to So when you didn't, you know, future reference, you ever do your owner operated thing, you know. That's what I'm trying to. I've been driving five years, and that's why I told Willie like. For like, you know, bullshit companies and shit like that. Yeah, I'm just getting like a, um, I'm just getting like whatever pre-existing damage is already there and everything. Like, 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 hey, you want to mix it in that nice part? I got you. Can you pull up just a little bit? Yeah. I'm gonna slide the tent. Oh, I got you. Yeah, um, I ain't see the brake lights, but the um the hazards and everything. So just go in there and hit the brakes for me one more time, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, we good. Well, you stay here, right? Yeah, you can. So I'm gonna just stay here until until um whoever call me below or let me know where I'm going there. Okay, cool. I started my clock, you know what I'm saying, this morning. So I'm already on my day clock right now. Hey, what's up y'all? So I'm actually we actually dispatching for them too though, so uh, so like so, so I try to tell y'all about like the five streams of income. So I got my own trucks, trucking company. I got a dispatch service, do trailer leasing, freight brokering. Like I said, and consulting. So all of them is based off of all around trucking. So I got five streams of income within this one business, and I ain't even include other income re revenue streams that I got outside, outside of doing the trucking business. So just keep that in mind. So his clock is actually already ticking so uh he, did, he didn't know how to pc on these logs because he said a personal conveyance over here so now he already an hour within his clock. yeah so i'm headed back to the to the house real quick so i got my dispatcher he on he on board with um with everything with his hours of service that's a big thing to be able to understand how hours of service works you know um that 14 hour clock, 11 hour drive time. He still got about 10 hours left. After he get done with his shower, he gonna have like nine and a half hours left. So we're gonna be trying to book him something potentially 
for like like from like Atlanta to like South Carolina. I just seen a load that was like 1200. That'd be good because you got to count the time that it's going to take for him to get loaded. They could take four hours. And then, so I, we would be looking for something that's going to like South Carolina, maybe 300 miles. And then we would, we would book that and make sure that it dropped for tomorrow. So he could, first thing he do is he get up, drop it, then we find another load. My, my dispatching technique is that we just try to get people like a thousand or 1200 a day driver runs six days a week you do the math that's six to seven thousand a week and i kind of like to do less miles because that's less expensive so say we did 300 a day that's only 1800 miles a week you know so you make six thousand on 1800 miles you know like i said you, you just do the math on it you know so to me all of that running 1100 miles i'm looking for three or four dollars a mile you know, and if we could run less miles, so don't think that somebody, oh, we gross 10,000. Yeah, okay, that's cool. But how many, you know, how much profit was really in there? You know, like me, I'm trying to get my trucks to profit to at least 2,500 to 3,000 a week profit. This after the driver's paid, after everybody's paid out or whatnot. So that's just kind of one of those things where everybody dispatch technique is different me i'm going for less mile you know i want i want to get 1200 1300 on 300 400 miles you know that's the way i do it that's the way i rock and that's how we make the money that we make you know but I always keep in mind man it's, it's it's multiple streams to this thing you know and and a lot of things are a byproduct like when when you have success in, in trucking broker and damn near gonna come naturally and the dispatching just gonna get like all of this stuff just come i don't even have to try to do it people are just gonna want to do it so like as, as me as being a coach and consultant they come with people wanting me to dispatch for them but who wouldn't like i said i can i can prove i can show you the numbers and i can prove it to you so this was a one 5k client he did one-on-one -on -one mentoring he went from one-on-one -on -one mentoring to pretty much having me to dispatch for him he couldn't find a trailer so i'm like hey look i got a couple trailers sitting because my drivers are killing making doing 7500 with power only so i'm like i just let my truck sit then you know I, I reached out to um delmore i seen him on truck and hustle and uh, he he's teaching me how to hustle out the trailers so now like i said i take i had four trailers there because one of my trucks is using one All right now he's gonna go swap with another driver that's trying to go otr so i'm gonna still have four additional trailers that i can rent out so at, at two thousand a month you know five five hundred a week you know, you just do the math on that. that that'll be 8,000 additional income that I have coming in on the trailers per month. And think about it, the trailers don't need anything but tires and hoses and little lights and stuff like that. And everybody has to put down a deposit anyway. So, but yeah, I'm on 285, headed back to the spot right now. I'm finna go drink me some apple juice. Like I said, I'll catch up with y'all. Um, probably go, go live on IG later. Yeah, so this driver, the driver that we are that we are headed um, that I just leased the tra rented the trailer to uh, his company. He's actually somebody who did who's a coaching client, coaching client turn. Now he's a customer as far as rent, and uh, he's a client as far as a dispatch. So this is actually my first time seeing my name on the side of something. While rolling up the road.